Hey everyone, welcome back to Average Jane's Game. It's Chloe and Justine, and today we are talking about the Far Cry 6 Joseph Collapse DLC, but we'll be doing something different to our two previous Far Cry 6 DLC videos, which will be linked for you in the description. We'll be providing you with our review, having played through the entire game once, or mine level 1 of 5. The Joseph Collapse DLC is set inside the mind of Joseph Seed, the main villain in Far Cry 5. The map is meant to represent Joseph's mind, which is visually reminiscent of Hope County, the setting of Far Cry 5, with elements mixed in that represent Joseph's troubled state of mind. Lied to me. As you'll be able to tell from this opening clip, we were so excited for this DLC because we are huge fans of Far Cry 5 and we were really looking forward to learning more about Joseph, who we considered to be one of the best Far Cry villains. I'm so excited for this one. What is this world? Okay, so it's obviously post-nuclear blast, which is fun. Check out the clouds, dude. Oh, <gasps> cool! Oh, it's so cool. I'm so excited to be back in Hope County. Me too. Hi, Hope County. But like twisted Hope County. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Great. Ooh, what's down here? Something. This revelation was one of the first things we came upon in the game that includes cutscenes that helped to flesh out Joseph's story. And these additions to the story had some pretty big impacts on our experience with the game and on our final review. What is that? And a trailer situation. Into a really fancy elevator made of marble. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Damn, Joseph. Interesting. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Look where we are. Oh, my. The bunker. Right. Upside down. Upside the down. The bunker. Ooh. Oh, yay. Oh. Uh, I can hear her in there, you know? Whispering. Sinning. We just need to... We need to cut it out of her. We need to peel it off of her. You're not given to jealousy, John. I know what God wants for me. I know that these urges are from him. Like you said before when you wanted my help. I need to cut something up. You don't want to hurt me, John. And I know that you are afraid of Jacob. So hear me now, brother. If you touch faith, there will be consequences. You understand? He has urges to touch faith. Yikes. These urges are from God. Hmm. And God is testing us both. No, John. Does Joseph also? He said God is testing us both. Yikes. Double yikes. Ew, don't make it too gross. Yeah, let's please. not. Please, please do not go down don't that road. Don't make it disgusting. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's her dress. It smells like her. Ew. Ew. We're almost out. It's almost gone. He promised to make the demons go away. They'll go away. They'll go away. Father! The bliss! Did you find more? Faith. You need to be sober-minded now. You need to be watchful. The devil, he prowls like a hungry lion seeking someone to devour. But you... Th that's not what you said before. The bliss, it was the bliss that took my demons away, not you. You used me. You were controlling me, and now, without bliss, it's all rushing back. I remember everything. What did you do to me? What did you... Faith. My name is Rachel! <laughs> I know what you did to them. I know what you did to the other face before me. You truly knew. You would not dare to strike. 
strike me. The faiths before her? Oh my god! And if you Faith truly knew what I did to them, you wouldn't strike me? me? Yeah. This could oh never no. Have Dude, uh, Joseph! <laughs> I'm not liking what they're doing with Joseph. The two revelations that Joseph witnesses are of what would have happened if he had saved his siblings from the nuclear blast that destroys Hope County in the end of Far Cry 5 at Joseph's hand. Here we learn that if John had lived, he would have found himself feeling unable to control his urges to hurt or harm Faith, their adopted sister. We also learn that if Faith had lived, she would have come to see through Joseph's apparent manipulation that he was holding her captive and using bliss to drug her and keep her compliant in what turns out to be Joseph's family fantasy. It seems that in reality, Faith was maybe not adopted at all, but maybe kidnapped, given a new name, and drugged. The final voice cut from John solidified some of the stuff that was alluded to and that we were disappointed by in the revelations of John and Faith. I didn't mean to. I couldn't stop. I couldn't help myself. She gave me everything. Ew. Ew. Her body. <gasps> Ew. She made me so angry. No. <sighs> he killed her? Since you were a child, they've been there, haven't they? Yes. Yes. God put them there. He gave you a gift. We just need to control it. Use it for his glory. They're going to lock me up. They're going to find out what I did to her. I know where we can go, John. A place of forgiveness. Far away from the laws of men. Will you use your gift to help me? Yes. Aside from the disappointing story choices, we said during our two other DLC playthroughs that we absolutely love this DLC format. They're short, about five hours each, have small maps that allow you to explore every corner and discover everything available, and take scenery from beloved Far Cry games and add interesting visual elements that represent each villain. We enjoyed the added layer of difficulty where you start with just a pistol and have to find guns in the environment and complete challenges to unlock them, and that dying in-game has real stakes because it means you'll have to restart your story progress and gather enough currency to repurchase the guns you had unlocked previously. You're dead? I'm gonna <laughs> save you. I was waiting for my syringe. Just kidding. I'm dead! <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers. Oh my god. Well, at least we didn't have anything, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All in all, this DLC format was a winner for us and provided us with 15 hours of the fun, hectic, over-the-top Far Cry experience that we both love. Finally, to sum up our thoughts on the Joseph Collapse DLC, we are sharing our unpolished conversation that took place immediately after completing one full playthrough, or Mine Level 1. Yes, that's right, my child. Oh, we, we gave in? We gave in by leaving. I guess so. That's wild. Yeah. I thought it would be the opposite. So you can't save Joseph. No saving him. Yeah. I, I don't know if I actually like this one as much as the other ones. Mm. Or, may, or was it just my expectations were really high for this one? And then I was just kind of like, yeah. I don't know. I just learned a lot of really bummer shit about Faith. Yeah, uh, that I I wasn't expecting, mm -hmm. like, yeah, and then that was like just kind of sad, and then hard to feel anything for Joseph other than like, blech, mm -hmm. gross. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure why they had to throw that in there. I don't know if it was alluded to in the main game. I don't remember it, if it was, or it went over my head. If it did, if they did. Um, so I do find that disappointing because I don't know why that has to be like every woman's story. Like that. Yeah. Pretty disappointing. Yeah. Ew. Ew, you guys. Yeah. And then <sighs> outside of that stuff, I think his mind was kind of boring. His mind was boring and yeah. sad. Yeah. Um, but he was also a guy with shooting glasses and he was kind of boring <laughs> and sad also. Yeah. Yeah. 
I didn't find any humor in this one. I know. What was that about? No humor. Is it just because he is like a serious, boring man? Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe that was a, a big part of it for me with this one was where is the like goofy sense of humor? Because we got it in Hope County. We got a fucking ton of it in Far Cry 5. There was no lightness. It was no. all like heavy, sad, dark. Agreed. And burnt down. <laughs> His mind is a burnt down forest. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't like Joseph as much as I thought I did. Yeah. Well, that wraps up our review for the Far Cry 6 Joseph Collapse DLC. Overall, we found this DLC to be pretty disappointing. Um, and it's definitely not at the top of our list for the Far Cry 6 DLCs that are out there. Um, thanks so much for watching. We hope you'll watch again in a couple of weeks. And until then, bye for now. Bye.